everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today we're on camera for the first time at a sports card show negotiating and haggling prices buying a bunch of raw cards on camera um, with the intent to grade i'm not looking for anything gem mint or anything but you know i did want to be reasonable and negotiate as much as i can so i hope you guys do enjoy make sure if you are brand new to this channel that you do subscribe like the video as well as commenting and letting us know what you think also i just launched my brand on instagram it's now off the fly sports it is strictly for uh live box breaks i will be selling sealed wax graded cards anything anything about the hobby as well that's pretty much just my uh secondary page so if you can give it a follow you know, if you guys are looking for sealed wax or anything or any cards, any card information or anything like that, make sure you do hit that follow button on Instagram and uh, show some support. Thank you again, guys, and I hope you enjoy. What's going on, YouTube family? I'm back here again at the Sports Card Show here in Hickory, uh, looking for stuff to grade. So let's go ahead and get started. bottom dollar for both. Would you do uh do 60 for both? Uh, no cash, sixty dollars for both? I'm buying all day today, yeah I'm buying all day today. I didn't I didn't bring anything honestly. I may go back I mean I live like five minutes away. No worries I was trying to think it would be south how much do you ask for the dude? The only thing, it's a weird card. You know? it, it is, so I didn't know the market for it really. Yeah. So I'm in here like 47. Yeah, I saw that 61. So I mean, I like to be. No, I get you. I get you. But the thing is, I gotta go based off. Well, I mean, I mean, it is raw. They're all over. Yeah, they are. It's like 38, 47. I got 42. One. And then let me see with the Kobe because I, I definitely want to work a deal with all those. Here, let me let me throw something at you, kind of package you on all the stuff you asked me about. Okay. See if maybe this can something good for us. I'll do that. I'll break it down like this, and then you can take all this. So knock ten more off this to one thirty. This we can take off. One thirty. Thirty-five piece. Thirty a piece. Hang out the John. Can we do the 200 for both of these? No, three. Alright, man. Appreciate you, man. Good doing business again. Hey, Frank DeMott out of Charlotte. Appreciate you doing the deal, bro. Sure, so we got both of these. Yeah, two Zach like Levines. Come see me at the North Carolina show. Two, two Levines. Kobe Rookie, $200 all in. What I'm really looking for is Tua. It's very cheap, very affordable. Prism. I think it's a better buy right now than Jalen Hurts, Joe Burrow. Ready to sell on the season right before the hype, probably in like July, August. I pulled all this stuff when I was younger. Hey. So, I'm about to start selling some of This is a nice EX 2000. Did you do 140 for all this? Steve Nash's got some apprentices of Top's Finest. One, two, three. They look really good. Look pretty gradable. He said he pulled them himself. He got three Top's rookies. This EX Ray Allen is beautiful. Beauty on that one. And then we got just Steve Nash's. Look really good. 
All this, 140, Hall of Famers, good stuff. Marvel stuff, all that stuff is going ridiculous. Huh? Shack rookie looks really good. Hopefully, it's a nine. Looked really good, honestly. How much are you asking for the Paul Pierce and the Vince Carter? I'll do $25 a piece. You know how to see them? Good. That's going crazy too. What's the best price for the three? 100 bucks. 100? Did you get 90? No, 100 bucks. Mm. You know you win. You got a little bit of baby. I don't have $100. I don't know who John Collins is. Did you get 20 bucks for it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, he took it. That's not bad. It's oh, nice it's about six or seven dollar car. Probably, it's nice. I just can't say John Collins. Me, like John, John Collins. Collins. Just picked it up on car. Give me ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Yeah. You crack. Man, man, I'm broke. I'm broke. Look at that. Ninety dollars, man. Hey, every dollar counts. I like. Every dollar. Back to see you again, son. I appreciate it. Back by the box, brother. I may, I may come back. Two, uh, <laughs> two rookies. Appreciate you, though. Yeah, for sure, man. Two rookies. Throwing an Antoine Jameson and the Shaq rookie. It's not bad. So, kid walks by. He's he's asking the dealer, like, hey, uh, it's a John Collins second year on Coronado. Give me 30 bucks. The guy's like, nah, I don't know who John Collins is. So I was like, I'll give you 20 bucks. He's like, deal. He took the money, ran off. Not bad, man. City of Gold, John Collins, on card auto to 79. And it is his second year, but it's not bad for 20 bucks. Can't, can't beat it. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, man. I'm not looking for tens here. I, I had a stack of 10 of them, and I sent them all in. Only two got tens, and I, I thought they were all tens. So they're graded really tough right now. What's your best price for the five? That's been a $5. I do 200 flat. Maybe some room. You do 180? 190. I'm gonna stick at 180 right now. You do 180? In case they don't grade well, which they probably won't, that's fine. 180? Four Ronaldo's. They look pretty good. He did, I mean, he did specify that they probably may not grade. I looked through them for a bit. They look like they can maybe get nines. If not, we could sell them raw during the Euros or hold them for next year's World Cup. And I got a Tim Duncan. This one is pretty much 
10, 15, not too bad. In total, I got the five for 180. It's not too bad. I ain't got fives. I'll do 60. Right. I, I, I really, they, look, they look pretty good? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. No problem. Kevin Porter Jr., he's been blowing up lately. He's different rooms, this uh, flare. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same number, but it has different rooms on it. Yeah, you do 120 for the suit? So, like, I'm thinking about buying that. Thank you, appreciate it. Here we have finally got some dirt. Showcase, more showcase. Look at them here. And then a Jeter. All of this for 120. All right, guys, we just finished up the show. So I just want to show you guys some of the cool pickups we picked up today. Very good 90s cards. I'm very excited about all of these. I got this very, very a very pristine Ray Allen EX2000. It looks really good, really sharp. Looks like maybe a nine or, I mean, I don't, I don't think I can get a 10 because a little corner there. But other, other than that, it looked really, really good. And uh, I like the the way that these EX cards, uh, I think they'll hold up some value, the way that the Kobe's are moving up and stuff. Next, I ended up picking up this Tim Duncan. Easy, easy pickup, easy choice. Uh, ended up picking up this Dirk Nowitzki. Picked up two of those, the tops regular. Got the flare showcase. This is right here, row number three. I ended up picking up row number three. All right, and then this is row two on the flare showcase. And this one's a really good one. The dirts looked really good, so I had to get this, as well as the uh, the sky box. Uh, any dirk I was pretty much on the hunt for today. Um, just wanted to get as much dirk as possible, honestly, because uh, he's very undervalued in the hobby. Ended up picking these Topps Finest Vince Carters with the peeling, uh, with the coating. I'll probably end up peeling the coating off of this one and the Paul Pierce. He threw in an Antoine Jameson. I'm not not too big on that one, but these were the ones that I really see potential money makers, and that's the uh, the Steve Nash's. The reason I picked up was looking for Steve Nash. Uh, really was because you know the way that the modern NBA is and the modern card market. He's very relevant to the league today. He coaches the Brooklyn Nets. And, uh, you know, they have a potential to, to win multiple titles over the next coming years. He's coaching three of the top 15 players in the league. And I think he'll stay relevant for a while. He's one of the best point guards. He has two MVPs under his belt. He's definitely a Hall of Famer. So uh, I had to pick up some of these tops. I picked up three of them. And then I just picked up, you know, several miscellaneous rookies. Uh, the Metal Universe, the Rookie, the Top Stadium Club, the SPs. You know, I had to get those. The Fleer, two of the Tops Finest, I believe these are. Yeah, yeah, the Tops Finest. These are really nice. I'll probably peel off the coating off of those as well. And then always, always something that's timeless, I think, is the Shaq Rookies. Got both of these for a good deal. Got one for 40 and then the other one pretty much for 50. Um, you know, I was very, I was negotiating on camera. So everything I was getting, you know, I was trying to haggle as much as I can because I have to, um, you know, I have to factor in grading costs at the end of the day because, you know, that that's it's not cheap to grade nowadays. As far as modern stuff that I picked up, I picked up Kevin Porter Jr. I did. I have a bunch of Kevin Porter Jr. that's currently at PSA. Um, so I, I wanted to get him still, you know, I think he's very undervalued. I, I love that the Rockets picked him up. I picked up four parallels for uh, 60 bucks. And that was pretty good. Zach Levine, still very, very high on him. I think he's so undervalued in the game and so undervalued in the hobby. Uh, picked these both up in the bulk deal. That was the first deal I made. And then, as you guys saw, that kid, he came by on card auto, John Collins, numbered to 79, $20. He asked one of the dealers, uh, hey, you know, I'll, I'll sell this to you for 30 bucks. I quickly budged in because the dealer didn't want it. And I was like, man, I'll give you $20 for it. And he took the money easily. Only slab I bought was the uh, 1996 Hoops. It was a PSA 8. Um, anything Kobe, I think, guys, if you guys can pick it up for a good price, especially if you can haggle on the price and get it with a good bundle, I think it's easily a buy. And then uh, as far as some other miscellaneous sports, I picked up the Jeter Tops regular. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it's a PSA 8 or a 7. 
Uh, and then I picked up four Cristiano Ronaldo's with how the Euros are coming up and then the World Cup. I was looking more for Messi, but um, that guy had 25. They were kind of cherry picked. And he did tell me there's no guarantee on, on the grade. So, I mean, I understood that, no problem. So um, I picked out the four best that I, I thought looked the best. And these, I think maybe can be a nine. Sometimes some people miss some things when they're grading. So uh, thank you again, everybody, for watching this video. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment, and let us know what you think. And we will see you guys on the next one.